This is a quick tutorial to show you how to create a square spiral using the plugin from Graphic Extras. It's uh, available at ai-plugins.htm on the Graphic Extras website. It's for CS5, CS4, etc. There's no version for CS6. Works on PC as well as Mac. Right, there's an initial bit of setup, so I'm just going to quickly uh, set the uh, the fill because I don't want there to be a fill in the uh, the actual thing. So I'm just going to set the stroke right, all the settings there so there's no fill and there's a stroke setting object menu filters then AVP create and then spiral and now you can actually see the spiral there now it's actually set already so I'm just gonna quickly show the settings to actually achieve this, this result so actually number of spirals actually just you change to say 10 you could obviously put 5 or whatever so it reduces down the number of uh, Actual arms, so just there's less 10, put it to 10 again. Now the gap between the spiral arms can be changed. So if you want, say 800, or obviously if you put 200, you can hardly see it then, but it shrinks down because obviously the gap in the actual spiral between the spiral arms is a lot uh, less. Let's put it back to 800. Now the key thing to create a square or a rounded square spiral, I should say, is via the curvature settings so set them to 90 and 90 now if you if you go back to the default default is 25 obviously more rounded spiral so I'm just going to put it back to 90 you can also set the decay so I'm just going to set various things you can just see the decay obviously if you want it back wrap it down to a very narrow point put it to about 94 you can actually put also uh, that's one point in there so you can actually just subtle change as well obviously you can't do that with the up down control so you can only just go like 95 96 etc right so to put it back to 103 now one of the things you might have an issue with slightly at the start you might want to set the in the crate section there's an option here for the drop down with play spiral at user entered now that's probably the best setting to actually put it so if you put it to that one and then you can actually set the spiral position so if you actually change that it will actually move the spiral position you can actually hold the shift key down and click that little box side and you can actually drag the spiral across or up and down if you wish so it just goes up and down as you hold down that the shift key right so that's the basic setting for creating a square spiral and you can also set the curvature per arm and various other settings probably in most of the section, sections you don't really need all these sort of things these are different spiral structures so you can get a slightly different square spiral but uh, you can explore those in uh, other tutorials as well as different offsets there's a uh, offsets closed spiral set, different settings fill different random fills some of these are actually more relevant when you're actually creating uh, maybe uh, multiple spirals because actually a multiple number of spirals there set to one but you can set it say to 10 or 20 you can actually fill the entire document with lots and lots of different spirals of course there's other settings like a sketch feature down here which is a which of course only appears if you actually set the number of repeats for the sketch to greater than uh, than zero